polynomial or not a polynomial functions. So we are given here a couple of examples and we need to figure out which one of these are polynomials and which ones are not polynomials. I'd like you to pause the video, write down your answer and then check with my suggestion. Now here is my suggestion. What is a polynomial? We can write polynomial function p of x as equals to a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 so on a 2 x square plus a 1 x plus a 0 where the coefficients these a's belongs to a set of real numbers so the coefficients, let me say the a's or a n's, they belong to set of real numbers and n belongs to set of whole numbers. That means n can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Now based on this definition, we can figure out whether the given example is an example of polynomial function or not. Okay, now let's examine them one by one. A is c of x equals to minus 7. Now is it a polynomial or not? Well if you go through the definition it is like a constant where a0 is minus 7. Actually it is a polynomial. So it is a polynomial. Let me write p for polynomial and here the degree is how much? Polynomial of degree 0. It's kind of important a0 is like x to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1, correct? So it's a constant polynomial. We can also call this a constant polynomial. And its degree is 0. B is g of x equals to 2 times x to the power of 0 0.5. Now 0 0.5 is not a whole number, so therefore it is not a polynomial. Then we have c, which is f of x equals to 3 to the power of x minus 1. That is an exponential function. It is not a polynomial. The new, that exponent has to be a whole number. It cannot be a variable, right? Exponential functions have horizontal asymptotes. Polynomials don't have horizontal asymptotes. d is p of x equals to square root of 2 x cubed minus 3 over 5 x squared minus half. All these coefficients are real numbers and the exponents are whole numbers. Therefore, this is a polynomial and this polynomial is of degree 3, right? Now, sine function is not a polynomial, so this is not a polynomial. Now, here we have r of x equals to minus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 3 square. That is a polynomial. If you multiply and expand it, you will get degree of this polynomial as 2 plus 1, 3, right? So this is a polynomial and its degree is 3. Absolute function is not a polynomial, so let me write NP here. That means not a polynomial since this will have a corner, right? Polynomials do not have a corner in their graph. Now Q of x equals to 1 over 2x minus 1 is not a polynomial. This will have vertical asymptote, right? And also a horizontal asymptote. That's a rational function. Now remember, in polynomials we have smooth curves, no corners or cusp or asymptotes. Then we have e of x equals to 2 e square x cubed minus 1. Now that's kind of tricky. You'll see 2 e square is like a coefficient of x cubed like a and that's a real number right so therefore this is a polynomial right and in addition to writing polynomial I'm also mentioning their degree the degree of this polynomial is 3 is a cubic polynomial the next one is the logarithmic functions and logarithmic functions are not polynomials right so sinusoidal functions exponential functions logarithmic functions are not polynomials in this particular case, this is not exponential, it is e square, right? That's a real number, right? So you have to take this into consideration when you are looking for polynomial or not a polynomial. I hope this exercise gives you wide variety of functions 
which are polynomial or which are not polynomials. Thank you.